Shut up and sit down. Hey friends, I'm Simon. I'm Ellie. And if you enjoy our videos, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and of course hit that bell thing. That would be very kind of you indeed. And tonight, as with every night, we are surprising each other with trailers that we've not yet seen and filming our silly reactions to those. So what do we have coming up next? Well, next up, I'm kind of intrigued by this one. This is a movie that comes out in September. It stars none other than Dylan O'Brien, Mark Wahlberg and a lesser known actor called Chris Evans. And I know how much you love movies where you're not sure what is real and what is not. Oh no. Yeah, it's one of those it seems. I hope Chris Evans is real. I I don't know. I'm not He does seem too good to be true. I think there are no guarantees with this one. So yeah, I'm really actually intrigued to see whether this movie has just been flying under the radar by stealth or maybe because it doesn't look very good, but I I literally just heard the casting and I heard the plot behind it and thought, ah, this is enough for us nerds to give it a shot. So I say we're going to go check out the trailer. If you want to see what we think about it, then hang around until the end. But for now, let's go. Let's go. You are an infinite. I like he's They're got the tag off. on it like at a Comic Con. Diagnosed with schizophrenia at 14. After carving the words, look inside into your chest with a box cutter. What? Look inside. Why those words? Which one of these is yours? Look, you could skip the, uh, whatever the hell this is, because none of that is mine. Was it yours? I don't know what you're talking about, I don't know what you're talking about. Jesus! Every time you say, I don't know. Oh, man. Mr. Trigger gets pulled. Is it yours? Look, I don't know. Are you out of your mind? Last chance, Evan. Is... This yours. I don't know. Hello, old friend. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, get in. Whoa. Oh my God. <laughs> Isn't your first life, Evan? You are an infinite. You've lived and died Whoa. a thousand times. You're talking about reincarnation. If you can remember who you were. Understand who you can become. Wow. Uh, yeah, that was a lot. <laughs> the description I read, and it did mention Chris Evans. I wonder if that's fake or are they going to sneak him in there? I was just about to call you out on that. Yeah. Exactly where is the Chris Evans I was promised. Uh, maybe there's a different Chris Evans. <laughs> but, uh, so that's what Wikipedia told me. Liars. Anyone can put anything on there, apparently. But anyway, the story I read was that Mark Wahlberg's character... Remember when he was Marky Mark in New Kids on the Block? But anyway, Mark Wahlberg's character is schizophrenic, and he has these voices and memories in his head, but they turn out not to be voices and memories. They're actual memories of previous lives that he's lived, because he is an infinite living life over and over and over, which sounds pretty sweet. Uh, anyway, what did you think of the trailer for Infinite? I liked it. Um, it's not. It's not one of those ones that drives me crazy because you can't tell what's real. 
Um, I mean, I guess there might be some element of we don't know what's real, but it's pretty clear that he thought he had schizophrenia, but it's actually that he had these memories of previous lives. Mm. Um, so this isn't going to make me angry like some of the other things. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, aside from the distinct lack of Chris Evans, um, which did make me very sad. I mean, honestly, if Chris Evans is in your movie, put him in all the trailers. It doesn't have to be the whole thing. Like, he could have just showed up at the end of the trailer like a sneak, but put Chris Evans in the trailer if he's in your movie. Maybe um, he was one of the cars. Maybe he was acting really, really well, just acting as a car, I and you, you, did, you couldn't maybe tell. he was one of the cast. Like, he was... No, he, he was, was a car. He was one of the crew. No, a car. Like, yeah, he actually, that sports car, that red Ferrari Testarossa they were driving, that was actually Chris Evans. He's just such a good actor that you thought he was a Ferrari. He is that good. Yeah, he is that good. Okay. So talking of cars, there definitely seem to be some pretty awesome car chases in this movie. I guess if you're running away from memories, I'm not sure car chases are the thing. I wasn't expecting that, but seeing as he actually seems to be combating bad guys or at oh. least running away from some people... Car chases looked pretty neat. They had a pretty awesome Aston Martin and then that Ferrari Testarossa that was really Chris Evans. Pretty nice. Yeah, pretty nice. So yeah, that looked good. I thought the cast looked pretty cool as well. Yeah. I um yeah, I, I guess I just didn't get a lot of the story, but maybe that's fine. I mean it mm. it had kind of uh like that typical sci-fi vibe like Minority Report and other movies that you've seen and that Edge of Tomorrow or whatever it was called, that live die repeat thing mm. where you know, they don't tell you a lot, but they give you enough flashes to make you think, you know what, this is going to be an action-packed movie. It kind of reminds me of, like, when you used to go out in the olden days and, like, a good date night was to go for a meal, get a nice pizza or something, and then go to the cinema and see a movie. Mm. And, you know, you would you were reliant on there being a movie worth seeing. And there were so many movies that sucked over the years, clearly. And then you had those huge, rare blockbusters that were amazing. But in the middle were those movies that you would look at and think, you know what, it's an action movie. It looks pretty decent. The cast looks yeah. decent. And I'm going to have a nice pizza, and then I'm just going to be overly full and lay mm. back in my comfy cinema seat and watch it. So by September, when this comes out, hopefully that's going to that's gonna be the case again. Well, there we go. I think maybe I goofed up and said Chris Evans was in it when it wasn't, but uh, or maybe he was just that good as a Ferrari. But either way, I'm actually still pretty excited to see Marky Mark from New Kids on the Block battling time or whatever he's doing in this movie. Like a Highlander. As long as I can eat a pizza first and then just lay back in a reclining chair, maybe snooze a little bit, maybe have one of those giant bucket-sized Diet Cokes. Mm. That would be fine. Maybe sneak a little something something into that Diet Coke just to make things a little more interesting. Well, either way, we hope your life is a little interesting, but not too much. And uh, you know how often we do this? Um, um, every day. I, it, I think it must be every day, and I feel like an infinite because it just feels like day after day after day after day, I'm just doing these videos, putting them on YouTube, thanking people for the nice comments. So remind me again who chose this schedule for publishing videos? Uh, you did. No. <laughs> three times a week seemed fine to me. No, three times a week was clearly not enough because our viewers wanted more. And we like to give you more, friends. So in that case, we will see you tomorrow on the next Dork Trailer Ambush. Peace out, Highlanders. Bye. Shut up and sit down.